Revolution. Our task list, we have four things. The Columban Exchange, a slave trade video, Middle Passage video, and Middle Passage source analysis. So you can tell from this task list that we're going to be talking about slavery. We are also going to be talking about um, how large groups of people, the Native Americans and Africans and Europeans themselves were changed uh, by exploration. So our review question for the very beginning to start us off, we have to think back to our last unit, what motivated countries to explore? So I'm going to open up last week's and scroll down to the matching activity. Um, that talked about what drives people to go on this long three or four month journey over the ocean that's dangerous and what drove them to do that? What drove them to make that journey? So there's seven reasons here. I only asked you for five. Improved ship design, fame, wealth, glory, new trade routes to Asia, improved weapons, create more accurate maps, spread Christianity and claim new lands for their country. So on your handout, um, I kind of combined them in mine. I put trade routes to Asia because that was a really big one. And then new lands, fame, glory, and wealth kind of all encompass each other because if you were someone who conquered a new land, you were automatically famous, you had glory, and of course you had money. Um, improved ship design and then spread religion and improved maps are also some causes. All right, so we are going to have the Columban Exchange activity in class. If you miss this activity, I'm going to upload, I'm going to record the class doing it and then upload it on Google Classroom. So if you missed it, you should be able to still um, get what we're learning from it from the video. All right, so after Columbus, more European or old world explorers and settlers began to come to the Americas or New World. Some were missionaries seeking to spread Christianity. Some were coming to find gold and other material riches. Some just wanted a new home, a fresh start, religious freedom, or whatever it might be. Interactions between Europeans and natives led to big cultural changes, to say the least. The Columban Exchange definition is the exchange of plants, animals, goods, and diseases between old and new worlds, aka uh, Europe, Africa, and the Americas. So Africa and Europe are old worlds. The America is new world. So when people traveled, they brought with them goods that weren't necessarily available in the Americas or in Europe or in Africa. And so that changed things that changed geography, it changed the environment and changed demographics of people because if they brought diseases as well, um, then large groups of people would die from those diseases because they didn't have an immunity. So it, it definitely changed everything. One thing that we're going to be talking about in this lesson is cultural assimilation. So the Columban Exchange is an example of cultural assimilation. It had both positive and negative side effects. The same thing happened in the, in the event in Asia called the Magellan Exchange. Cultural assimilation is the process in which a minority group, aka natives or, um, well, in this case, Africans, or culture comes to resemble a dominant group or assume the values, behaviors, and beliefs of another group. So, for example, the natives before the Europeans came did not practice Christianity. And so when the Europeans came, they were converting people because they had missionaries and that was one of their goals, right? They were converting people into Christianity, either Protestantism or Catholicism. And so the natives who are the minority group, their values and behaviors and beliefs changed. And so it kind of changed their culture. Um, all right. So... For the Columban Exchange activity, it's going to kind of go like we did um, with the economics game. So you guys are going to rename yourself as a good from one of the lists. If your last name begins with A through K, you would choose a good from the new world. And we can't have two of the same, so we'll make sure that that's not the case in class. And if your last name begins with K through Z, choose a good from the old world. All right. Um, if you miss this in class, then I'm going to post, I'm going to record it in class and then post the video. So you should get the same thing out of it. 
So when we do the exchange, we'll begin and we'll trade our goods as a class. You have to trade by requesting a transaction in the chat. So I would private or well, I would say someone's name in the chat and say, hey, would you like to trade? And then they have to approve and say yes. Um, and then you rename yourself as your new good. Um, you may trade with both old world game players and new world game players. If you get a disease card, you're dead. And only the people who have diseases know. And I'll tell them um, at the beginning of class. All right. And after we complete this activity, we're going to talk about what were the causes and effects of this Columban exchange. So we're going to play this video and then talk about some causes and effects. So I'm going to play the video. With funding provided by the King and Queen of Spain, Christopher Columbus set sail to the New World, or also known as the Americas, in 1492, on board the Nina, Pinta, and Santa Maria. Columbus departed from Spain and sailed in hope of finding a faster route to the Indies. He eventually landed in Cuba and discovered the New World. With Columbus's discovery, trade began between the two worlds, which is also known as the Columbian Exchange. The Columbian Exchange routes, as you can see, formed what looked like a triangle across the Atlantic Ocean. This route is how traded goods traveled from one place to another. Many things are traded between worlds in the Columbian Exchange. The Europeans brought crops such as wheat, sugarcane, and bananas with them to the New World. From the Americas, crops such as corn, potatoes, and beans were traded. Animals were introduced to the Americas, which helped the Native Americans in many ways. For example, horses provided the Native Americans with an easier way to hunt food and faster transportation to places. The Europeans also brought diseases to the New World, such as malaria and smallpox. The Native Americans were not immune to these diseases and as a result started to die. This caused their populations to decrease. The native population was impacted dramatically with diseases carried from the Europeans. As the native population began to decline, more Europeans came to the New World in search of a better life. Eventually, the natives were outnumbered by Europeans. Many events occurred because of the Columbian Exchange. In Europe, the prices and trade rose quickly, or what is also known as an inflation occurred. Many Europeans began to migrate to the New World, and as we know, brought diseases with them. Because of the boosting economy, slaves were brought to the Americas to work the new land. This provided faster work and more trade to occur, but on the downside, the Atlantic slave trade was also started. The Atlantic slave trade occurred when Europe was in high demand of crops. In the Americas, work was needed to meet the rising demand. Slaves were brought from Africa for labor on plantations. Crops such as corn, shown here, were one of the many different types of crops that slaves were forced to work. All of these events have contributed to the Colombian Exchange. This has changed the world and formed what is now today's economy. Awesome. I'm going to go back to the this slide and use that and put that on my slide. So some effects, boosted economy, cultural, cultural blend, migration, diseases, and Atlantic slave trade. So I'm going to go to this slide and start adding things. Um, oh, I'm going to add things to my chart. So cultural blend, migration, Atlantic slave trade, economic boom, diseases, population, Decrease. Um, what else? Goods were spread. Um, yeah. And some causes of the 
column and exchange. So we can talk about motivation to explore, um, meaning they needed more lands, more converts, more gold, glory. Okay. Improve maps. Improve ships. Improve weapons. Awesome. Not wheat spawns, whatever that is. All right. That is the end of the Columbian Exchange activity. Bye.